hello guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a pencil dress with double front slits if this sounds like what you're interested in then keep watching so the first thing we are going to do is on a piece of paper we are going to be marking out the chest line the bust line the under bust line the waistline the hip line the slit points that is where we want the slits to start from can make it as high or as low depending on what you prefer and then the length of the dress also depends on what you prefer how long you want the dress to be and then when you're done with this the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be marking half of our shoulder measurements from the top line and we also mark it on the chest line when you're done marking you're going to connect it using a straight rule then after that from this point we are going to go down by one inch while on the top line i'll mark three inch for the neck width and i will connect it then when you're done with this on the chest line i'm going to be marking quarter of my bust measurements while on this line i'm going to be dividing it by two then i'll go in by 0 0.5 and i'll use a french curve to connect it all the way to the bust line for the back i'm connecting it directly to the point we marked earlier then for the neckline, I'm going to be dividing the shoulder line by 2. I will also add 0 0.5 inch to it. It just depends on how wide you want it to be. And then from this point, I'm going to go down by 1.5. And I'll connect it to the point we marked. This will be the neckline for the back. I also went ahead to add 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance at this point. Although it was not necessary because at the end of the day, I reduced the allowance by 1 inch so from here for the front neckline i'm going to be going up by one inch from the chest line and then i'll connect it like so then when you're done with this i'm still going to use the straight rule to connect it all the way to the shoulder line and this will be the neckline for the for the front from the waistline i'm going to be marking quarter of my waist measurements and i'll connect it to the chest line like so while on the hip line, I'm going to be marking quarter of my hip measurements. And I'll connect it using a straight rule. I'm going to be curving it a little bit. It just depends on how curvy you are. While on the slit point, I'm going to be minusing 1.5 from whatever we have on the hip line. So that means I'm marking 8 inches on that slit point. And then I'll connect it all the way to the hip line. And then I'm also going to be connecting it down to where the dress ends. And then from this point, I'm going to be cutting the back pattern first. Just pay attention to the lines I followed while cutting. So when you're done with this, you're going to be placing this on the fabric and you will cut for the back pattern. So this is a fabric that I use for this dress. I have two yards here. Although the two years was not enough to get the exact sleeve in that is in the style inspiration that I used. So I would advise you get two and a half yards or three depending on your body size. So the fabric is a little bit stretchy. If you are using a stretchy fabric, you are going to be applying the principle used in cutting on a stretchy fabric. That means you are not going to be adding allowance to it. So I've gone ahead to place the pattern on the fabric and I've cut. I added one inch allowance to this hemline and then I'll be adding half an inch sewing allowance to the side seam. I actually used one inch here but I reduced it to half an inch. And then from this point now, I'm going to be continuing with the front pattern. So to, to go further, I'm going to be cutting out the zipper line that is on the back pattern. And then I'll also cut out the neckline for the back alongside the armhole for the back. And then when you're done with that, the next thing to do now, I'll use this French curve to connect it all the way to the side seam. Just pay attention to how I'm doing it. I'm connecting it from the under bust line all the way to the side seam, like so. And then from here on the waistline, I'm going to be going in by three inches. 
this just depends on how small you want that hourglass effect to be so when you mark the three inches you connect it to the underboss like so while on the hip line i'm marking seven inches this is also based on what i want you can make yours lesser or more it just depends on how you want your dress to be and also on your body size so when you're done with this you're just going to curve it a little bit at the waistline like so and then from this point also on the hemline i'm going to be going in by three inch i'm using exactly what i use on the waistline on the hemline so i'll use a straight through to connect it like so So by the time you're done with this, the next thing to do now is I'm going to be going in by one inch from that point at the hemline and I'll connect it all the way to the slit point. And when you're done with this, all we have to do now is to cut it out. And that will be all for the front pattern. So I'm going to be placing, I'm going to be notching that point where the cup part is connecting to the side seam just notch it so that when you're cutting on the fabric too, you know exactly where it is and then i'll place this on the fabric and i'll cut exactly what we have here adding sewing allowance to it i've placed it on the fabric and take note that for the center front i placed it on fold and i've also gone ahead to add 0.5 inch on all sides i only added one inch at the hemline so when you're marking it make sure that at, at the side front that sharp edge is connected all the way to where it's supposed to end like you're going to be connecting the half an inch and you will not you will connect it all the way to when it reaches the other points so from here you are going to be cutting it out then when you're done cutting, remember to notch the necessary points. So I'm going to be notching the waistline, I'll notch the hip line, and I'll notch the slit points. So that by the time I'm joining the center front to the side front, I'll know exactly where to place it. So yeah, I've also gone ahead to cut the cup part of the dress. And this is what we have. And I've also notched that point where we'll be connecting it to the down part of the dress. So when you're done with the cutting, you're going to remove the pattern from the fabric. And by the time you open it up, this is what the center front should look like. So now I'm going to be joining the center front to the side front. So I'm going to be arranging it like so making sure that the waistline of the side front is aligning to the waistline of the center front then i'll pin it all the way up and when you're done this is what it should look like at that point and then from here i'm going to be connecting it all the way to the hip line making sure the hip line of the side front is aligning to the hip line of the center front i'll also do the same thing all the way to the slit point so pay attention that the at the slit points the notching that i did is opened i notch it all the way to the 0 0.5 inch allowance that we added such that when we are when you are done sewing you i'll be able to hem that point so now i'm going to be taking it to the sewing machine and i'll be sewing using 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance and by the time you're done this is what it should look like Take note that there is no bulkiness anywhere. Everything is well placed. So that point that we notch at the slip slit points, we are going to be hemming it inward like so. You hem all four points, and this is what it should look like by the time you're done.
So now the next thing to do now is to attach the down part of the dress to the cup part. So in order to do that, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to be joining the line into the main fabric. And we are going to be sewing the neckline using 0.5 inch sewing allowance. So by the time you are done sewing, you are going to notch it and then you open it up and this is what it should look like. You press it down very well and you can even use a gum stay, just depends on what you prefer. And then when you're done, you're going to join the line into the fabric at the down part. We're going to sew it. So from this point now, at this sharp end, I'm going to be marking where I have one inch, exactly one inch on both sides. That is when you place the measuring tape on it, it should be one inch. And that is where we are going to be marking. So from that one inch point, we are going to be joining the core part of the dress to the down part of the dress. So that point where we notched at the cup end, we are going to be joining it to 0 0.5 inch on that one inch point that we marked. So when you join it, you're going to connect it all the way to the center, making sure that the center of the cup is aligning to the down part of the dress. So you're going to pin it all the way. This is just like sewing. A bust here so you're still going to connect it the same way at that one inch point that we marked and then we'll connect it like so you're going to sew using 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance so by the time you're done sewing you can also go ahead to top stitch on the copper just to lay it flat or enable it to lay flat and then this is what it looks like when you're done. So when you give it a good press, this is what it should look like. So for the back, I've gone ahead to hem the neckline of the back. And then I'll be adding an invisible zip to the back. So I'll add it all the way to the hip line. And that hip line, I'm going to be closing it all the way down. So take note that there will be no back slit since there is already slit in front. So we are going to be sewing it all the way down. So by the time you're done, you're going to be joining the front to the back at the shoulder line. You're also going to be joining it at the side seam. And this is what it should look like. So all we have to do now is to hem the down part of this dress. So from here now, this is the this is what i use to create the hourglass effect on the dress this is known as a cup chain so now for the sleeve i the fabric was not enough for me to sew the exact sleeve that is on my inspiration but i'm going to be uploading a video where i will show you exactly how to cut that sleeve in case you're interested just subscribe if you haven't and like the video and and stay tuned for that video so when you're done attaching the sleeve to the dress, now all we have to do now is to sew the cup chain to the dress. I'm using a needle and thread for this, and I'm going to be hand stitching it. So you sew it all the way following the lines that is on the dress. And this is what it should look like. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.